What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and right here is the Legends 4K pinball machine. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot it. If you ever run into any display issues, this video hopefully will help you out. If it does, give me a thumbs up and share this video to anyone that this video will help out in the future. Right here is my future project. This is a TV stand with all these retro modded stations. I have like a modded Atari 2600 right here, a modded PlayStation 1 Mini, a modded Sega Dreamcast, a modded SNES Mini, and I have a modded uh, PlayStation 2 memory card mod, and then a modded car cartridge um, Nintendo 64 down there. Everything's hooked up to an HDMI switch, and this is going to be a future video. I'm going to show you how I connected everything and how everything's modded. So hopefully you guys enjoy that video in the future. But right now, we're going to focus on troubleshooting the Legends 4K pinball machine. Here are the future table releases for the Legends 4K. You got Attack from Mars coming out May 8th. You got Star Trek Williams Edition coming out May 15th. Twilight Zone Williams Edition coming out May 22nd. And Godzilla vs. Kong coming out on May 29th. And that's a Zen Edition. And then the latest update is going to release May 30th. If you guys are interested in the latest Legends 4K news and table releases, be sure to join the Legends 4K Facebook group. If you have any kind of issues with the buttons, plunger, or even the display and sound, you could go to Health Check and perform a Health Check test. Go into Settings, 11 of 26. These are examples of a loose backlight and display connections. I loosen these connections on my machine to simulate what it would look like. If you open the back door to your Legends 4K pinball machine, you'll notice on the left side is a power supply and on the right side is the motherboard. I labeled these connections to help you. If you experience any kind of display issues, first thing you want to do is unplug the power cord. If you're having play field display issues, reseat the play field cable on the motherboard. Put your fingernail under the latch. This is the locking latch and you want to lift up. As you can see right here, lift up on that latch and then grab the cable and the latch like that and then go ahead and remove it. And then you can reseat the cable. Just slide it back in. Make sure it's flush on both ends. And then the latch should flip over and snap down. And unlatch it like that. And then reseat the cable connection. Just like that. There we go. And then it should snap. And then snap down just like that. On the motherboard, you can reseat this cable connection. That might actually fix the issue with the backlight issue. And so you just reseat that connection like that by pinching this tab and then reseating and see if that fixes your issue. Hold the bottom of the motherboard so it doesn't flex. And if that doesn't fix your issue and your screen is still dark, then you might have to reseat those backlight connections on each side of the 4K monitor. To get to these backlight connections to reseat them, you need a screwdriver. Remove the side rails and the front lockdown bar. Remove the control panel and the glass and the four screws holding the monitor. Then you can lift up the monitor. This is the part number for the 4K monitor. To check and see if the motherboard is sending a bad signal to your 4K monitor or your back box or your DMD monitor. You want to connect a PC to the Legends 4K pinball machine. HDMI 1, which is the red cable, is the playfield display. HDMI 2, which is the back box monitor. And HDMI 3 is the DMD smaller monitor on the back box. Connect these cable connections if you want to test those monitors using a PC. And then go ahead and press 
the channel button and then it'll bring you to this menu right here select start and then we can check the back box monitor and see if we have the same video issues and we can also check the DMD which is not plugged in currently and also the play field monitor if your picture looks good then you know that you have a defective motherboard or the software on the motherboard needs to be factory reset and updated. If you have a bad back box monitor, you can reseat this cable connection. Once again, unplug the power cord first and then squeeze these tabs to reseat this connection. And then go ahead and push it back down on each side like that to reseat that connection. This cable goes all the way down to the bottom this is the ground cable connection. Make sure this is solid. Looks like it's tightened down. And then you want to squeeze the connector. Don't pull on the wires because they can rip out of the connector. And to reseat that, you just grab it like that. And then it should come straight out. I'm going to have to wiggle it out. And then go ahead and line it up with the edge of the connector to reseat it. And hold the bottom of the board when you push down to receive that connection for the 23 inch monitor in your back box. If you have an issue with the DMD monitor, which is the small monitor, to receive those cable connections, first thing you want to do is locate the connection down here and go ahead and squeeze. I'll make sure this ground cable is solid, looks like it's secure, not loose. And then over here with this cable connection right here on the bottom left hand corner of the on the motherboard you want to squeeze the connector don't grab the wires can once again they can rip out so you want to squeeze the connector and then wiggle it back and forth until it removes and then let's go ahead and line it up with the edge of that connector And then go ahead and reseat it. And once again, to reseat that cable connection, you want to grab the connector itself and squeeze the connector and pull it out, wiggle it out, and then line it up and then push it back in. This latch, you can reseat that by flicking that latch up, just like that. And then that can reseat just like that. Make sure it's all the way in, and then latch it down by pushing down this way. The same thing goes for over here. You want to go ahead and get your fingernail under that, flick it up, and then as you can see, I receded that connection. And make sure it's flush. If it's crooked, it, you'll get video distortion, maybe lines on the screen. Okay, and then this one pushes forward. Remember, pushes forward, not back. This one goes this way, and then this one. So both latches lock down to the right, as you can see right here. With the lights off in the room and the flashlight on your camera, you can see that there is a really dark image. That's if you have a backlight issue on your LCD. And so it looks like the the display connection is there. There is an image, but it's just really dark because there's no backlight. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Once again, unplug it. And so with this back box monitor, you have the connection right here, but you can't really get to it, as you can see. It's really hard to get to. You can't receive that connection at all. But you can follow it right here, and you can receive this connection, which is number two. Squeeze the connector and unplug it and receive that connection like that. Make sure it's secure. This wire goes all the way down to the bottom, not to the motherboard, but to the power supply. And this is the cable connection for the back box monitor. Grab the connector, remove it, and then go ahead and line it up 
make sure it is lined up and the red wire is facing you. It's kind of hard to see. But right here, go ahead and push it all the way in. I feel secure. That should be good. And these are the connections for the motherboard, the power connections for the motherboard. Make sure they're pushed all the way in. Go ahead and plug it in. Hopefully you found this video informative. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you know anyone that might find this video useful in the future, go ahead and click on the share button below. Share this video to them. Help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. And if you're interested in the Legends 4K yourself, go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.